there seems to be some um, pushback on what I consider to be medical analysts, whether they're for or against the same things I am. Medical analysts pointing out that the way the Palestinians are fighting here makes it very, very clear that they've been trained by the Russians. Um, I'm going to stand up and say I absolutely agree. If you, and I've said to people so many times, you need to look at the Battle of Aleppo. You need to look at what the Russians trained the Syrians to do during the Battle of Aleppo against against a force. And what they've done, what the Russians have succinctly managed to do is they've managed to highlight a huge weakness in NATO tactics. And I include Israel in that because that's who trained them. Um, essentially they, they have no back, they have no backwards function. They are constantly, constantly on the attack. And that is what they are kind of created to do. And if you look at what happened in, in Afghanistan, it's exactly the same. So while they've got, um, you know, air superiority and everyone's in a system of, you know, running around like headless chickens because there's bombs going off everywhere. They'll just go on and go on and go on and attack and attack and attack and take more and more territory. And they're very territory hungry, which means essentially what you're doing is you're forcing an enormous great big front line because you're taking so much territory, which you then have to defend. Now, Israel has become complicit because it believes that, you know, that the, it's, its methods... It's air defense, which is an American manufactured and Israeli manufactured air defense system is good enough because it's been able to defeat Gazan rockets, which are probably, you know, limited organization people just putting the pressure on, just putting the pressure on, just putting the pressure on a little bit. What we've seen happen in the last day is Palestine has organized and it's obviously been preparing for this organization. I'm going to say for a year, but at least six months. OK, so they've organized. And now what we're seeing is an almost identical method of working that we saw from Russia in eastern Ukraine. So, you know, they're going into cities. They're not killing civilians. There's very few civilian deaths now. They're going into cities, they're taking many, many more prisoners of war than they are killing people. And they are literally just pushing back on anyone who is, um, is Israeli armed forces, Israeli police force, you know, is, is Israeli government. And they've taken masses of land because their front line is so huge. They're pushing in like between 21 and 44 different places at the moment the Palestinians, and they're pushing and pushing and pushing, and they are just removing the, um, the, 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 the Israeli invaders. They're just pushing them back. Um, and Israel don't know what to do because they've been trained by a group of people who's only got one, you know, it's like they don't have a reverse gear. How are you supposed to get out of car parking space with no reverse gear? The only thing you can do is wait till you move forward. Well, if someone blocks your path... What are you going to do? And that is how NATO operates. So when people say they are acting like they've been trained by the Russians, that's true. They are. I've just gone and I've looked at a number of videos and I've read a number of uh, bits of information and the Palestinians are very much acting like they've been trained by the Russians. I think that there is almost no doubt about that. They've either studied what the Russians are doing and they've learned it that way, but I would I would imagine that it will come to pass that it's been um this has been taught to them. And really this I think is going to show the um you know what I've said a, a number of times. People do not understand what Wagner is. Wagner is a training operation. The point of Wagner is it will go and it will train smaller, less um, equipped armies to defend against larger NATO armies by turning on its head this concept of forwards, forwards, forwards all the time. And that is what we're seeing happening in Palestine and Israel. So although obviously we are so used to hearing, oh, it's all Putin's fault, <laughs> Putin propaganda, you know, in this respect, when a military analyst says to you, that looks like Russian war, in this respect, they are actually telling the truth. 
and I would be, you know, I, I'll eat my own hat if this isn't something that has been taught. I would say that they are Russian trained and they are Iranian um, uh, goods that they're using, Iranian equipped. Um, and I don't think I don't think that the that the Israelis have a chance. I, I just don't. They have absolutely no method to protect themselves. They're so used to their air defence working. Now it doesn't because they're pro it's proper equipment. And all they're doing is bombing Gaza. If you look at look what's happening, they're saying, oh, we're retaliating with airstrikes on Gaza. All that does is kill civilians. Doesn't make any difference to the people that are invading, you know, they consider to be invading these, these cities. What it means is that there's more death, there's more destruction, and that's actually just going to push more people to want to support Palestine. Um, so I just, I just wanted to put that forward. I am, I am in amazement today. What a day for it to happen. Uh, Putin's birthday, <laughs> you know. What a day to see the Palestinians finally rise. And I significantly hope that this means peace for Palestine. I really, really do. That's all I want. But um, I just wanted to make that point clear about the military because I think a lot of people are getting confused and thinking that that is being said because everything's blamed on the Russians all the time. Um, I think we can blame this on the Russians and I think that's for the positive.